Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Elizabeth and in today's video, we're going to be decorating my dining room. This is one of my favorite spaces in my home. It's just a beautiful cozy space that my family uses almost daily because we really do try to get together for family dinners at our table. We purchased it 10 years ago, almost to like the weekend. Um, and I love this. We bought this house 10 years ago and whenever we moved in, we bought this table because I wanted a big long table, one that will last forever. And one day, hopefully I can see like my little grandkids sitting there. That's kind of the goal. It's just one of those classic, beautiful tables. Of course, I love my dining room because I also have a beautiful china cabinet that was my great grandmother's. So there's just a lot of nostalgia in a Christmas dining room. <music> If you look behind me, you'll see just the corner here of my coffee bar. This is also a buffet that was my great grandmother's. So I do love my antiques um, because there is just so much, I don't know, just it's just cool thinking about how my great grandmother used to stand and use this buffet and use the china cabinet like I am using it today. So we're going to decorate this space. My dining room is a little bit of a large room and it's kind of a multifunctional room. So it's not just a dining room, but we also have a space over here in the corner that is not so beautiful it's just that's real life and you know we we deal with what we have and so we have um, kind of a modern space where we have our shoes and jackets and backpacks for the kids my purse is over there things like that but I'm going to just kind of ignore that area because it usually just is what it is and the rest of our room we're going to deck out for Christmas as you can see behind me I already have this beautiful Christmas tree this was given to me um, from Honeywell Trees on Amazon, and I will link this tree below. The coolest part is that it is a color changing tree. I did a whole video on that, so feel free to go back and watch. It will be my last video, and I will try to link that below, and maybe place it up here in the cards if I remember while I'm editing. Um, but this tree is so beautiful to me. It has all brand new decorations on it. I really was inspired by like a 90s Christmas feel. So as you can see, I feel like the plaid ribbon is very much in right now, more of the traditional feel, but that reminds me, it just reminds me of my childhood in the 90s with the gold and the reds and the greens. Now it's probably a little bit more formal than what we ever had whenever I was a kid, but this is a more of a designer type of tree in my opinion. It's not just our family tree with our family ornaments. So I did do it a little bit different than what you may do and that's okay, we all have our own styles, but this is my dining room tree and it is gorgeous. So let me show you a little bit about it. And then we're gonna jump in to this tote that I just carried down from the attic space. And I just wanted to make sure, I dug into it a little bit. I just wanted to make sure that it was the correct tote that had my placemats for my dining table. So I dug far enough to see that they were in there and then we're gonna go through all of it together. In case you missed my tree video, here is an overview of this gorgeous tree. It's a seven and a half foot tree with color changing abilities. So I'm gonna walk you right over and you can see that it has the, the little um, step button to turn it on and off. Turn it off and there's on. And then right down here, pull it over here. There is this other switch with the white button. You can click it. Right now it's on white. I click it and it turns the collar. So I love that. And then the last setting, I'll click it again. It is the fading setting. So it fades from white lights, fades off, and then fades to colored lights. Morning, no one but we. If you've been in, around any amount of time, you know that I prefer white lights. So that's what I'm going to keep the setting on for now. Um, but I do like to switch it because the kids like the colored lights, of course. So I will compromise and put it on that color changing setting so that it'll fade to white and then it will fade to color. But I do love this tree. Again, I'll link it below if you're interested in a beautiful tree this year. So here's my tote and this is my husband's stuff. So we're just gonna try to ignore that for now as well because I don't know where to put that while he's at work. But this is the tote I carried down and it does have most of my dining room decor in it, plus a few extra things. Um, I'm so out of breath, I don't know why. But anyways, I found this um, greenery so far, this adorable little horse, which my sister got me for my birthday last year. I think it matches in here perfectly. I have the little white tree, it lights up. This is a nativity set, it's adorable. And then this, I made as a background to go with it. I believe it was from Dollar General and I just ripped the star off and then I glued it on the back so that it would have a solid 
background. And this cute little sign is from Walmart last year. So apparently I have a few spaces to ignore during this video and another one is right over here. Um, it's been a whirlwind, whirlwind of a weekend, or a week actually, ever since I purchased the new car about a week and a half ago, ago. I was so ecstatic, which I can show you that in another video if you're interested in hearing about my new Kia Carnival. Um, but we came home and our dishwasher wouldn't work and then Wes was able to reset it and it wouldn't work again. And then I was just frustrated and left it and then I think God just fixed it because it has worked ever since. And then our oven had a little issue and stopped heating while I was making dinner the other night. And God just was watching out for us because it could have burned our house down. So this is part of my stove. We're waiting on the part to come in to fix it. So just bear with me. This is very real life. And I know your house is probably not perfect all the time either. So this is, this is what we've got to work with. So this is what we're gonna go with. Um, but in my toe, I do have another one of these trees actually a little bit taller. No, it's not. Maybe it's the same. Hmm, I thought it was taller. Okay. It's the same, which is good. I have this beautiful bell. And this uh, lights up. I believe I had the bell and the rocking horse on my table last year. Tree. I have a thing with trees and reindeer. I just really love them. And these bells I usually put in my kitchen. I may have put them in here in my dining room last year. But because they're mostly silver, I may not use them in here this year. And I have these battery operated candles. I'm not sure if they still work. I might have to check the batteries. Sometimes I'll flip the batteries in them from year to year so that the batteries don't go bad. Oh, another tree. It's like a flannel tree from Hobby Lobby. And the black velvet tree from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has these in green now, which are gorgeous. These cute little guys, which goes along with my plaid ribbon on my tree. Christmas tree candle, it's glittery. It does light up, but I don't really well, light it up very often. Cement church, which I love churches. Um, and these are my placemats that I love so much. These are from Kirkland's. You can still purchase these. I'm not sure how much they are. Um, I had mentioned wanting these last year. I believe it was last year, maybe the year before. And my mother-in-law, so they were on sale and bought them for me randomly. So that was super sweet. And then for my table, which I have looked everywhere for these. I'm so glad I finally found them. Are these cute napkins? I got these last year. I think I got them from Hobby Lobby. I don't really remember. I could have bought them from Amazon for all I know. And then I got these cute napkin rings on Amazon. This is what started my 90s thing. This just looks like something my grandma Shirley would have in her house in the 90s whenever I was a kid. And she always had red, green, and gold. So this plaid is not the same plaid on my tree, but that's okay, it still works, I love it. A couple little houses. And this joy sign, which is, again, it's silver, so I probably won't be using it in this room, but I may use it in my kitchen or another part of my house. I brought these down as well. These are just two beautiful reindeer. I love so much. Again, I got these for my birthday a few years ago from my mom. These platters, they're actually like charcuterie boards, but I'm gonna use them on my table. I got those for my birthday this year. My birthday's November 4th, so everyone gets me Christmas decor. They know the way to my heart. <laughs> um, I've had this forever, and I thought that it just kind of goes with the kind of 90s theme in my mind. I already have my table runner on there, and then I have this Mod Podge of stuff back here. Um, most of it is either stuff I got this year for this tree or like this garland I've had for, I've had some since last year and some since the year before. Just a lot of random stuff that's piled back here. We might use some of it, we may not. We'll just go with the flow. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand And watch a choir performing all the Christmas songs that we love 
Get all the Christmas songs that we love. And then wow. So one thing I've learned over the years is to not do so many decorations on my table that it's not easily easily removable because like I said, we eat dinner here almost every evening. So this is not just a formal dining room that we set up for to be pretty and then we eat out once a year. This is our everyday dining table. So um, it is imperfect. There are scratches on it, um, but it's okay. Like that's our family table. Um, but I do want to make it to where I can set it up and it'll be more formal, which is what I'm doing today. But I want it to be um, easily, I want the items to be easily removed so that whenever we eat dinner in the evenings, we're not having to take every plate and fork and everything off. Um, we can just kind of stack the chargers and move them and then put them back very easily and quickly. Be close, you know the stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk and we can follow the moon light till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream. Okay, so this is what I have so far and I really do like it because I think it's pretty simple. It's not overwhelming. It's not like gigantic or we can't see each other's faces through it. I'm not super in love with the two trees right here, but we're gonna go with it for now. But I definitely need some red. So I have the white, I have the gold, I have the, the green. Um, there, There's a little bit of little, little tiny red berries in this, but I need more. So I have this giant bag of, I guess potpourri you would call it, um, from Hobby Lobby. It was $19.99, but of course I got it half off and it smells amazing. There's real um, orange slices and stuff in it. So we're gonna put this out kind of around the horse and around the deer right there. Maybe it'll add the right amount of red. I think this is so cute. I, look at these adorable reindeer. My sister got me these at Beals this year. Again, it was a birthday present. I just think they're so cute. And I like that um, they're up here on the table where they're more unlikely to get broken than other places in my home. I like the potpourri, again, kind of makes me think 90s. I remember everybody having potpourri in their homes and their bathrooms, so it smells amazing too. Spend the stay with you. It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby with inspired dining room that I was hoping for. This one is 
pretty special. This is my father-in-law's train set from whenever he was a kid. This is just a couple of the pieces. Um, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, there's five pieces to it, uh, to the train part. It's metal, which you don't ever see anymore. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, last time we plugged it in, it did work. I'm not going to set it all completely up. I'm just going to kind of set the track around the front part of my tree and then set the engine on it. Um, maybe a few of the, um, I don't know what you call these, rail cars, I guess, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna just set some of, it up, some of it up for looks. And then if my husband wants to finish setting it up to show the kids, because it has been several years since we've set it up, then I'll let him do that. Um, but I'm afraid I'll break it. So I'm just going to set up part of it. And then the second element to finishing up this room is a Christmas village. I remember everywhere you went whenever I was a kid, um, you would see a Christmas village at somebody's house. And so we have just a small one, but I think I'm gonna try to set it up in my china cabinet. I've never done that before. So we're gonna hope it works and um, that should complete our dining room. empty this completely out but there's a lot of fragile stuff in here there are um, lots of memories in here um, my stuff, so there's some stuff my grandmother gave me um, something that was given to us whenever my great aunt passed away my grandma's baby doll from when she was a little girl so a lot of it's tucked in the side but I'm gonna leave this stuff right here these are the dishes my grandmother gave me whenever I got married so I want to protect them and make sure they're safe so I'm going to go ahead and keep this in there but on the top shelf I've cleared it mostly away except for a doily. I'm going to go ahead and put the village on the top shelf. And from every window shines a light Somewhere in the distance drums are calling But no one heeds their call tonight About the adorable deer family that I got at Walmart this year. I got two of the large ones. So it'd be like daddy and mommy. Uh, they were $12.98 a piece. And then I got four of the fancy ones. These were $3.98 a piece. So I got two that are sitting down and two that are standing up. They're just so cute. I love them so much. So I'm going to make a little um, deer family and I did notice like this one's missing its wreath around its neck a couple of them are missing their berries but We're done doing my dining room. I love it in here. It's cute. It's cozy. It smells good. I can smell the um, potpourri on the table really well. And it just brings back lots of memories for me. It just reminds me of going to my grandma's house at Christmas time with the red and gold. And I love the nostalgia of the Christmas village and the train under the tree. There's just so much beauty in this. And 
Um, I hope that my kids see the hard work I put into this and really appreciate it so that one day they can look back and be like, wow, that was such a fun, cool childhood. I'm so thankful my mom worked hard to decorate. And um, I just wanna remind you, don't forget the real reason for the season is celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And um, thank you again for watching. Stick around and I'll give you an overview of the entire room. Green.